Strand reports supporters are gathering by David Delighton's side, petitioning a Texas, Texas district attorney to drop attempts to imprison him. Pony and several other pro-life leaders are off to Houston to try to stop the prosecution of undercover journalist David Delighton instead of his target, Planned Parenthood. This Texas grand jury was originally impaneled to find out if Planned Parenthood had committed crimes brought to light by those undercover videos shot by David Delighton. Instead, he and one of his compatriots have ended up indicted and facing possibly years behind bars. The felony charge is that Delighton had a fake ID. Mahoney calls this indictment laughable and embarrassing. David Delighton is not the first person that to have a driver's license say something else as a journalist to go undercover to follow a story. But Charmaine Yost of Americans United for Life thinks Delighton's videos on Planned Parenthood's fetal tissue trade are so damning the abortion giant and its allies may feel they have to strike back. What our attorneys found was six different areas of potential felonies that are documented on the tape very extensively. Mahoney argues the district attorney has too many pro-abortion connections. Devin Anderson, her biggest can, uh, political supporter financially, is the attorney for the largest late-term abortion provider in that region. There are six different congressional investigations going on including a select committee investigating Planned Parenthood. So Yost points out the Houston grand jury going after the accuser, not the accused, is odd, like charging him with trying to buy what Planned Parenthood was selling. That David would be indicted for attempting to buy human tissue, and yet those that who are stand accused of, of selling it are not being investigated in Houston. You should never have law enforcement use their office for a political agenda. And that's exactly what's happening here. Dustin Siggins of LifeSite News knows Delighton. David has sent out statements saying that, you know, what he's done is the exact same as every other undercover journalist in the past. So there's a concern here by some people about the chilling of free speech, the chilling of you know, journalism in America. I think people need to understand that. He's looking at 20 years in prison for this. Siggins, LifeSite News and others have gathered multitudes of petitions supporting Delighton. Just about 110,000 people are encouraging Devon Anderson to drop charges, which, I, which under law she can do. This is the first time in history that a grand jury was impaneled and is bringing charges with a 20-year penalty for a driver's license, that uh, a fake ID on a driver's license for this journalistic story. Those in the pro-life community are wondering whether this is an escalation by those in the abortion industry and their allies to make pro-life crusaders pay for their activism, possibly with years in prison. Paul Strand, CBN News, reporting from Capitol Hill.